Well, last week, China shut down 24 schools for children of migrant workers in Beijing, forcing more than 14,000 students to drop out. Now, as expected, this has sparked widespread anger among many migrant parents who are worried their kids now have nowhere to learn. BON reporter Jessica Pan has more. Migrant workers, or workers from rural China, come to big cities like Beijing to find work and earn more money, often at back-breaking labor-intensive jobs. They are largely responsible for constructing the biggest and fastest growing cities in China. But due to the hukou system, or China's residency system, migrants are excluded from social welfare benefits, including education. Migrant children attend private and licensed schools instead of public schools in China. This empty classroom will be filled with students who want to start their first day of school next week. But instead, they're going to find out that the government has ordered their school to be closed. Last month, the government announced that 24 of these schools will be shut down, leaving 14,000 children still searching for a new school days before the school year begins. Zhu Daojing, co-founder of the migrant school Dong Da Blue Sky, must tell parents on the first day of school that it is no longer open. He was told the school must close because it did not meet safety standards. I think it's just a reason. It's not a reason. If you say that you have these problems, but most migrant children are not eligible to go to public schools. They need five documents to enroll, including hard-to-come-by employment and residency licenses that most migrant workers find nearly impossible to obtain. Headmaster Gui Fangping of another migrant school in Beijing was also told by the local government that her school had to close, even though the government had approved the building for education last year. She's worried about her school and her own children. A migrant herself, Gui Fangping, and her husband borrowed 20 million renminbi to rebuild the school. The school has large classrooms, air conditioners, and clean bathrooms. Eight-year-old Wang Xiaoxi used to attend this school, and her mother is furious they're closing it down. Many of these schools are being demolished to make way for new high-rises. Others view the closures as a way to maintain population control but migrants find it unfair either way. Local governments did not answer our calls, but local media reports three schools have been opened to accommodate students. But it's still not enough, and often they are far from the students' home. The day after our interview, Wang San Hua's pleas were heard, and the Daxing district decided to keep her daughter's school open. But it's an exception. Dongba Blue Sky School will remain closed, and thousands of students are still without schools. Migrant education in a crowded city is a continual problem. The Chinese government hopes to have 70% of migrant children in public schools by 2012. But this week, children who arrive with backpacks ready for the new school year are sent away to look for another school. Jessica Pan, BON.